How's it going everyone? This is Tom. I'm excited to bring you this video. This is my setup for 2014. I brought you a teaser video the other day. Uh, it showed a lot of interest. You guys seem to be really interested in this idea to kind of bring you this setup tour. So hit a big thumbs up if you want me to do kind of more of these videos, more of this type of thing. Let's just jump straight in. <laughs> So I thought we'd start off with the kind of left side of the desk and then we'll move along uh, to get to the right side and maybe the cooler side of the desk, shall we say. Uh, so let's just start off with my camera and also my speakers. Talk about the light here in a second as well. Uh, also, I'm going to talk about a little bit about this comic wall you see up here. Uh, but to start off, we have my Nikon D3200. This is the camera I use for pretty much all of my videos. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I have a Lilliput monitor on top there. Sorry about the light glaring on top of the uh, on top of my lens here. Uh, but as I said, this is the D3200. I have a Sigma f1.4 uh, 30mm on there. Uh, it's a gorgeous lens, really nice glass, kind of gives you a massive depth of field when you're shooting there. Uh, it's a lovely camera, I absolutely love it, and uh, it's a pretty good price as well. I'm looking to upgrade in the future, but it's definitely a great camera for people starting out on YouTube. Here I have the uh, Odyssey Lower East Side Media Speakers. These were sent out to me a while ago. Uh, and I still really enjoy them, so I'm still using them. They're really good speakers, actually. Uh, this light that I have here that's blinding you currently is a Photocell product lighting lamp. Uh, I'm going to try and link all of these products down below, so uh, if you're looking to get one of these products that I highlight in the video, just check the description and uh, maybe you'll find it. So, as you can see, this is a wall of comics. Uh, this is kind of what, I, I don't know, it was one of the most interesting things about my channel when I started out. Uh, I kind of used to shoot about here and then have the products around the table here so uh, you would kind of get a blurred effect from all of these comics. It's literally just hundreds and hundreds of comics stuck up on my wall as you can see. Uh, like there's one peeling off there that gives you a better idea of literally just blue tacked them up uh, and it just kind of gives a cool effect. So over here next up we have uh, just a couple of circuit boards, uh, circuit board coasters they basically uh, are just kind of little geeky coasters that I managed to find somewhere in town, I think. Uh, I've also done a video on those, so I'm not sure, maybe I'll link that down below as well. I have the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. This is a preamp. Uh, I use it as a preamp. I put a, a lapel mic into there, and then it kind of boosts the audio quality that you get out of a standard uh, Audio-Technica 3035, I believe. Uh, that's not 100%, I'm not 100% on that model name, uh, but that's kind of what I use it for. Uh, but you can also get pretty stellar audio just out of that on its own. Next I have my monitor. This is connected up to a uh, 2012 Mac Pro, which I did a video series on. And then I've got another monitor. This is a 17-inch monitor. This is a 22-inch monitor. I believe this is a Dell, uh, and this is an LG. I'll try and get the models, but this one's a pretty old uh, monitor now. This is actually a TV, I think. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to uh, link it on Amazon, I don't think. But I'll try and uh, if it is, it will be there down below. So next up, what do I have? I've got my red iPhone 5, as you can see right there. That's currently a bit out of action at the moment. I need to fix that up. I've got the three fake iPhones that I did the video on for the fake iPhone 5s is there in gold. I've got a pair of YouTube sunglasses. I'm not sure if you can see the YouTube. Let's go ahead and try and find that for you. There you go. Uh, it's kind of got the YouTube logo on. I got those at Summer in the City last year when I went. Um, I have the Rockform Rock Dock, and that's a, on top of there is an iPod Touch 5th generation. As you can see, uh, that's a gorgeous dock. You kind of, it's solid aluminium, uh, really heavy, really good quality, and you can kind of just dock your phone or your iPod or whatever, uh, just like that. So it's a really, really nice dock, and uh, definitely a very kind of Apple-esque design. Uh, we have uh, obviously the standard Apple keyboard. This is a wired, I prefer to have a number pad, so that's why I've got that there. I also have a magic trackpad, which to be honest doesn't actually get a ton of use in my office. Uh, it's actually out of battery because I pretty much just use the Logitech uh, Performance Mouse MX. This is an absolutely fantastic mouse. Uh, if you haven't tried this, I'd thoroughly recommend it. It's an absolutely fantastic, fantastic mouse for productivity uh, and pretty much everything. You just kind of have your hand on here and you can uh, program a ton of buttons around it so it's really really useful I absolutely love my uh, Logitech Performance MX it's worth spending a bit of money on a decent mouse because it is something you interact with on a lot uh, on a daily basis 
pretty much, you know, it's it's the main point of contact for your computer, so it's definitely worth investing a bit of money into. Uh, here we have the PlayStation 4, the Sony PlayStation 4. This is uh, connected up to this monitor, so when I play on this monitor, you can kind of see, um, uh, I just kind of change my HDMI cables at the back, and then they uh, change. So here we have uh, the other side of my uh, Odyssey audio, uh, Odyssey lower east side media speakers, and they just kind of uh, hook up with cables at the back. You can power on and power off, and they give a really good sound, so they're really fantastic speakers. I have underneath, that as a digital to analog, I believe it's a FIO, uh, digital to analog converter. Again, I'll link it, I can't remember the model name off the top of my head, uh, but it is a, it's a pretty good DAC for around about $25, so you're picking up a relative bargain there. Again, link down below, all of these things will be. Uh, the PS4 controller, the DualShock 4, I absolutely love this. It's got a control freak on one side because I'm a big Call of Duty player, so uh, that kind of helps with your shot there. Uh, it's an absolutely fantastic controller, or a controller relative upgrade from the uh, PS3 controller, which I always found was too small, uh, so absolutely loving that. Here we have my 2012 Mac Mini. As I said, I did a video series kind of pimping this up from a uh, relatively cheap purchase, or for a Mac anyway, into something which is actually relatively powerful. So uh, again, that will be linked down below. Here we have the Audio-Technica ATH-M50s. These are my headphone monitors of choice. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic headphones. Pretty much everyone on YouTube will say the same thing. Uh, and they're just gorgeous. Uh, for about £100 here in the UK, or about $150, you can pick up some really, really fantastic headphones. Uh, and they just look so good, don't they? I mean... Yeah, they just, they just look great. And they're kind of sitting on top of a Just Mobile Alu headphone stand. Uh, I forget the actual name that's just branded something, but it's uh, just a standard headphone stand. But it just kind of looks really good. And uh, it's kind of this uh, silvery Apple-esque Apple design, I guess you could say. And then here I have an Anchor hard drive caddy. Uh, this is the hard drive that was originally in my Mac Mini. I kind of took out and just put it in here to use from some uh, external storage, which was probably a good call. Uh, and then I have the Blue Spark Digital. This is what I use for all of my voiceovers. Uh, so really enjoying this microphone. It's really, really good. You might have heard me at the start of the video. That was probably recorded with this microphone. Uh, just fantastic, fantastic mic all in all. And then we get to my phones. I have the Samsung Galaxy S4. On the left here, I've ordered the Nexus 5 in red, so that will shortly be joining. I have the HTC One uh, in the middle, and then I have the Moto G in red with a black, red, black back plate, excuse me, uh, on the back there. So a really lovely phone. All three of them are really good phones, actually. I prefer the HTC One, and that's what I use on a daily basis. And then I have the uh, Nexus 7 over here. As you can see, uh, again, a really fantastic tablet and the iPad Air underneath. The Nexus 7 kind of doesn't get a ton of use, uh, but the iPad Air I use pretty much every day. And then we have the, um, uh, this is a 2011, a 2011 i7 MacBook Air. Uh, it's, it's getting on a little bit now, but it is still a fantastic computer. Uh, what I use every day at work, so it, it just gets a ton done on this thing for such a small form factor. There we have it guys, that pretty much wraps up my video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. I rarely do videos like this kind of just off the cuff, me with a camera kind of just shooting it and talking about it. I prefer to kind of put a lot of effort into the pre-production and post-production of my videos, but it just wouldn't have really been possible to make this a manageable size video uh, in doing that. It's kind of just much easier to talk about stuff as I go along. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that format. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. I've got a lot coming in 2014, just ordered the Red Nexus five cannot wait to get started i will catch you next time